Well, here's something uh, kind of fun I put together. I got a couple of these dynamo flashlights that um, I get these LEDs out of in different parts. And there's a ring magnet that runs around on this uh, stator that produces the electricity to supposedly recharge these batteries, which I don't think it does. But it's a dynamo hand crank flashlight, and I made a pulse motor rotor out of um, the uh, rotor part of it, and then the gear, and then one of the shafts. And what this is is uh, this is the um, you see that or not? There's a ring magnet in there, and it's not very strong, so I had to add other magnets to it. And then there's uh, a shaft inside there, and then there's a gear, and uh, it made a pretty good uh, setup for a pulse motor. And then I just put together a little um, one and a half volt reed switch driver, and it made a really nifty pulse motor. I suppose you could trigger this uh, all different kinds of ways. You could use a, a hall sensor or possibly even a bifilar coil arrangement and do a electronic ignition type of thing on it, triggering. But anyway, it all came out of this uh, dynamo uh, self-charging flashlight. And I suppose you could even take the wire and modify that coil somehow for your coil and even use the uh, coil as the driver coil uh, what I've got there is just a sewing machine bobbin with 30 gauge wire on it and then there's just a simple reed switch which you would have to get or else like I say drive it electronically but uh, very simple and I remember back when I was building my first pulse motors is this this rotor setup was one of the hardest things was how you gonna get a rotor with low enough friction to work well this solves that problem right now um, real easy <laughs> the magnets are just some little uh, neodymium magnets I put on the inside of this thing because it wasn't uh, the ring magnet wasn't strong enough to work at least with this setup I've got here so I added those little uh, neodymiums but it's uh, magnetized around the outside to run inside that stator coil to produce electricity for the dynamo flashlight and like I say it um, it didn't take much for my little brain to get in there and turn that into a pulse motor <laughs> that's something fun uh, fun I, I did in the afternoon thanks for watching